Welcome to Ryotaro Japan. Today, as you can see, I'm ready to bike. Last year, I did a bit of biking with Chris in uh, Johnny Astro Japan and, and I got enlightened now and I want to do serious biking but I'm not really familiar with cycling at all and I'm not really familiar with the area either so today I brought a special guest and guess who it is Guest, guest, <laughs> guest. Oh, hey. oh. Ah. <laughs> hey. hey, Good. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you again. Yeah. So let me introduce you, Mikey. Yes. So he's a professional cyclist and who lives in Japan. He's been in Japan for 30 um, almost years. Almost 30 years now. Almost yeah. 30 years yeah. now. So just tell, just tell the viewers what, what you do here yeah. in Japan. So at first I came and I did all of Japan by bike, spent a half year here riding 100 kilometers a day, did the whole country. Now I do a TV show to introduce cycling around Japan and also yeah, talent and world championships last year, triathlon, yeah, various things. Yeah. And uh, you're going to show me some of the best places, yeah. best courses, right? Yeah, there's some great area. cycling around here. All right, great, sounds great. But uh, I... Yeah, I think you're missing something. Oh, I, I've got my... Professional wear the cycling weather. Yeah. But what do I miss? Uh, I think you need two wheels. That's <laughs> all right. Yeah, yeah, so let's I, get I you guess, set up with yeah. a bike. Let's let's go and get my bike, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Luckily for me, the bike rental shop was also our hotel for tonight. The Rin Rin no Yado is a newly built cycling themed hotel with a race circuit as well as a lot of activities for kids and families to enjoy. Now to choose my wheels. So I am now ready to rent a bike and look around. Uh, there are all sorts of bikes here, uh, the kids bikes, the adult bike. So I'd like to pretend that I know what I'm doing today. I'd like to rent one of these. I don't know which one, which one is the best? What do you think? Orange, the black and the white and gray. And I think I'll take this one as it looks like the size is about that's suitable to me. It kind of fits my outfit, doesn't it? Oh, it doesn't. All oh, right, okay, just forget it. So where are we going next? Well, um, I'm a bit hungry now. Uh huh. Yeah, me too. Uh, so uh, just but just do a little bit of recycling, uh -huh. and uh, let's go for lunch. Okay. Okay. So uh, guess what we're eating? Uh, I see a lot of water. Some dead fish. Okay, some dead let's fish. Let's go. Okay, let's go catch them. <laughs> So, mm -hmm. uh, here we have mm -hmm. our lunch, mm -hmm. and uh, what have you got? Yeah, I've got a pizza, but I don't really see many, I don't see a fish. So it's supposed to be, it's a pizza with like a uh, cod egg, right? Tarako, oh, and uh -huh. also um, some shirasu, the mm -hmm. little fish. It's all fish, they said, but it's a little fish. Mm -hmm. Eat a microscope. <laughs> uh, I see an eye here. Yes, uh, is it an eye? This is actually uh, a little sardine. Ah, sardine. Sardine, like mm. oil sardine. That's, mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what they're serving here. Ah. Um, so this is not disgusting at all. Because many people, I'm pretty sure, that they, they like sardine, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so try it. Have okay. a bite. I can eat an entire sardine? Well, the pizza, I mean. Yeah, fish and mayonnaise. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. fish and mayonnaise. <laughs> okay. Fish and mayonnaise sounds like something. It's like uh, fish and chips. Do yeah. they put like, some mayonnaise on? Ah, yeah, I'm sometimes I'm really sure. Really sure. Oh, okay, this is a real pizza here. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah, cheese. Ah, and here's here's the, the eggs. Oh, that's that's the egg. Okay. And I see many eyes. Okay, fish and eggs, <laughs> and then lots of <laughs> eyes going back. Mmm. <laughs> How's that? Yeah. Like it's it? Good. Like yeah. it? Good. Italia meets the tiny Japanese fish. Italia meets tiny Japanese fish. Yes, with lots of eyes. Um, so, enough of that, and look at mine. Your so, tiny fish are bigger than my tiny fish. Yeah, sure, somehow, yeah, mm -hmm. you're right. But still, um, I see some eyes. But anyway, so this time, I've got some shirasu, the sardine, on the rice with raw egg. Again, for those of you who watched my previous video about raw egg, 
Again, we are using a raw egg, and this is something I like about this dish. Spoon instead of chopsticks is a So what's so special about this place is you can actually ask for more sardine, more oh, shirasu. Really? Yeah. Can I just do it now? Extra little fish. Extra little fish. Oh. Sumimasen. Shirasu motto onegaishite mo ii desu ka? Onegaishimasu. Wow. Oh my god. Like a thousand fish. Thousand then. fish. Ja, onegaishite ii desu ka? Tappuri de, tappuri de onegaishimasu. Tappuri de. Oh, she would, she would keep doing this until you say stop. I think I stop, 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 stop. stop. <laughs> I don't see the rice anymore. I just all, see a bunch of eyes staring actually, at us. <laughs> that's all I see. Eyes and a white body. No rice anymore. I guess I, I was too late to say stop. <laughs> Some place else I want to show you. Yep, yeah, sure. Here. Okay. So this Natori area, it's not just for cycling. There. What do you mean? There are other things you can do to enjoy besides cycling. All right. So this is the end of the trail network. Yeah, there's a massive trail, more than a thousand kilometers. What? Starting in Aomori, coming all the way down to here. <laughs> down here? Yeah. On the yeah. coastal side. So they've got this really nice trail center. And how do you know this place? Well, I'm a trail runner. I'm not only a cyclist, so let's... You told me. Okay, check out this map on the wall. And so from Fukushima all the way, all the way... <laughs> to... Up, where is this? Top of the coast, yeah. This the, is... The north end so, of the coast. Aomori here. Yeah, Aomori so Aomori, Iwate, and uh, Miyagi, and to Fukushima. So this is like... This is, this is a whole trail. Yeah, yeah, more than a thousand kilometers. How do you, how do you go there? I mean, how long does it take? A thousand kilometers takes quite a while. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. I guess so. Yeah, even by bike, yeah, five, five days if you do 200 kilometers. 200 kilometers a day, five days. My God. Yeah, have you done any parts of this? Oh, uh, well, I mean, I've been to yeah, I know many of those around. places. Yeah. <laughs> this, like, Teboi Tunnel, right? It's like mm -hmm. a hand curved tunnel. Ah, yes, yes. And also this, um, this like these trails that I've actually oh. I've been here and I brought in That's Japan a nice video. Mm -hmm. um, I've been we filmed here as well. So oh, there okay. are some areas that we covered, mm -hmm. but obviously that's the only three oh. parts of the places that I've been here out of 1,000 kilometers. So I think I've got 997 mm -hmm. kilometers left. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is. Oh my God. Yeah. It's um, I think. Uh, I don't know how many years I've got left <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> to live, but I think I'll try to try. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is. It look, looks amazing. I, I really, yeah, my dream is to do this one day, to I do mean, the whole thing by foot. You say it's a dream, and then, like, I, it's my, it's, I think it's fortunate that I live in this area, mm -hmm. so I think I should do this. Yeah. Yeah, while I live here. Before we turned in for the night, I decided to test my racing skill against Mikey with a few laps around the hotel circuit, which I of course won easily. All jokes aside, I was amazed at how beautiful the ocean sunset was and the feeling of cycling beside some of Japan's best scenery. Hi! Look at the elevator, how big it is. It can contain two bikes. So I'm with my bike with me and I'm checking into my room because this room can contain a bike. Even though it looks a bit small, the room, it has got the hanger or hanger zoo rather to fit two bikes in. Look at that, how perfectly settled it is. Um, with the two bikes can be hang in the room, this is perfect room for the cyclists. Oh, hello. Uh, one thing uh, I wanted to just point out, uh, not only the 
uh, this hotel has got like those uh, bike hangers in your room, but it also comes with an onsen. Uh, a little bit tired uh, after uh, cycling for long distance, so uh, I think I need to relax a bit. So, uh, excuse me. As day two of our cycling adventure began, I sat down with Mikey to have a chat about why he was drawn to Japan. So Mikey, hmm. so um, I know you are uh, a professional cyclist yeah but can you tell me exactly what you do like what is it that you're doing yeah well my main focus is the environment so I started cycling just to be good for the environment and stopped using any automobiles or anything but I got in such good shape that I started racing <laughs> so, <laughs> so as a result <laughs> yeah so I've done seven world championships so far oh my god a few in mountain biking off-road triathlon Ironman triathlon yeah, various world championships mainly in Japan or just all over the world? Yeah, because I started out racing in Japan because I, I, I just loved the environment here and I loved the cycling atmosphere and I did a tour of all of Japan by bicycle and so I just loved cycling, you know, 70 to 100 kilometers every day. And so then when I started racing, of course, I started racing in Japan. Unbelievable. <laughs> so you said like there in uh, Japan, the cycling is amazing, right? So yes. what is it so special what is it like this that you like so much about like cycling in Japan uh, probably the first I would say is the manners of the drivers J Japanese drivers have very good manners they're patient <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> they're, they're used to seeing bikes on the road so, yeah. so they, they, they give room to bicycles usually and and yeah the manners of the drivers the other is the, the beautiful atmosphere just going along coastlines like this and you know you can you can ride for hours just along beautiful ocean views and the mountains are incredible and you know japanese live concentrated in the cities when you get out of the cities it's so much nature and so beautiful yeah yeah miyagi prefecture is great for cycling there's lots of good cycling mountains and coasts and this this natori and yuriage area it's, it's very very nice like the cycling road here this so actually this concrete that yeah. we see here it's it's to block the the way if, wave, if yeah, another yeah. tsunami comes to keep the tsunami from damaging you know the rest of the city yeah but it's a cycling road on top wave it's barrier perfect smooth concrete perfectly flat and you've got ocean views the whole way and oh. mountain views to the other side airport is like way down there so. yeah yeah you can see the the airplanes just the little dots coming yeah, down yeah, yeah, but yeah. this 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 concrete goes all the way down to there. I thought you were not allowed to like you know, just ride bikes on that. No, you, no, they're welcome to yeah, ride bikes there. So it's a great, there, there aren't any motorized vehicles allowed, so it's a bike paradise. So is this like, is this the one of the places that you're going to take, take me? Like just yeah, ride yeah, the bike Yeah, it's today? a great one. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll speed down the... <laughs> wow, <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it. It's kind of like an autobahn for bicycles right Yeah, here. that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, Germans, we got autobahn here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay then, shall we go? Yeah, let's chase the planes. <laughs> as as can. Woo! Oh, don't go too fast. <laughs> When's he going to get here? <laughs> <laughs> Nice easy ride today? Just hold on, deep breath. Why do you look so normal? Like, how are you so fast? Just quick, like you, how, how fast did you go there? I was like... On, on the uphill I was going like 40k, that's, that's 50k on the, on the flat part. Pretty sure I was like 20k at the half the speed and I just couldn't follow up. That's good. But anyway, uh, so... Um, so I think we're coming to the end. Uh, I think, I, I, think I, I had enough of <laughs> cycling list with you, you know what I mean? So uh, I think you've got something that you want to add to this climax of this uh, video, right? I know uh, that. Yeah. You want to yeah, take it out? <laughs> I love taking people cycling around Japan. So I, I love it here in Natori and Miyagi Prefecture and I've, yeah, I've done tours here. But I just, this year, after Corona started, I opened up a place in what I think is a cycling mecca. It's, it's Odawara, it's a half hour from Tokyo by right. bullet train. It's uh, two kilometers from the ocean. It's 600 meters from the mountains. Wow. And Hakone Onsen's Close National everywhere. Park. 
and Mount Fuji. It's got it's got everything there. So I, I do cycle tours. What's the name of the cafe, the, the restaurant, whatever? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's called Cycling Gypsy Cafe. Cycling Gypsy yeah. Cafe. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I said it too, right? Yes. <laughs> But anyway, uh, so I hope you enjoyed, and I've got and I've got the link to the cycling gypsy cafe uh, in the description box below. So we'll just take a look, and, and so I think that's it for my video. And I hope yep. you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. It's been great.